Michael Jordan, legendary pro basketball player and global cultural icon. Seven success facts to fuel your success. Number one. Michael Jeffrey Jordan was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1963 and was the third of his parents' four children. The family moved to Wilmington, North Carolina, where Michael spent his childhood. Michael's father, James, was handy and would always figure out how to fix anything that needed repair. To his father's despair, Michael was not interested in learning how to work with his hands. All he wanted to do was play sports. Number two. In high school, Michael was suspended three times over transgressions such as not following the rules and having a rebellious attitude. The third time Michael was suspended from school, his mother Dolores knew she needed to be clear with her son that he needed to change his behavior. Taking extreme measures, Michael's mother locked him in the car with the window craft, where she could see him from the window of the bank where she worked. Michael knew there would be consequences if he unlocked the door, and he spent the day reading. Michael managed to stay out of trouble after that, and actually did well in school, excelling at math, chemistry, and calculus, once he realized that he could get an academic scholarship if he had good grades. His parents were also influential, threatening that Michael couldn't play basketball if he didn't get good grades. Michael's high school basketball coach, Clifton Pop Herring, had a significant impact on Michael's development. He saw promise in Michael and took a personal interest, picking Michael up and even taking him to the gym to practice before classes each morning. Coach Herring even lied to get Michael into an elite basketball camp saying that Michael was one of the best-ranked players in the country, when actually he was still a complete unknown and didn't have any records. Coach Herring's belief in Michael was rewarded. Michael did so well in the first week of the camp, he was asked to stay for a second week. However, his parents didn't have enough money to pay for a second week. They even declined when the camp offered the second week for free because Michael was so skilled. Michael's parents finally agreed to let Michael stay when the camp arranged for Michael to have a job washing dishes to pay for his second week. Number three. Growing up, NBA games weren't broadcast on Wilmington's local stations. Michael's exposure was only to college games, so that's where he set his goal. Michael decided to go to the University of North Carolina a school with a basketball program that had a strong reputation for Tar Heel players getting drafted by NBA teams. Coach Dean Smith was another instrumental figure in Michael's life, teaching Michael the vital importance of fundamentals. In his freshman year, Michael averaged 13.5 points per game. By Jordan's sophomore year, he averaged 20 points per game. In 1984, Michael was the third round draft pick by the Chicago Bulls and was named Rookie of the Year his first season. Number four. In a time when marketing deals were more likely to be extended to tennis players, boxers, and golfers, no one thought a rookie team player could successfully market a company's product. Under the direction of Phil Knight, Nike was known for innovation, and the company had its eye on Michael. At the encouragement of his parents, Michael met with Nike and in 1984 signed a five-year contract worth an at the time unheard of $2.5 million. In 2020, Forbes estimated that over the course of his partnership with Nike, Michael has earned $1 billion. After leading the Bulls to three consecutive championships, Jordan retired from basketball in 1993. Number five. In a move that surprised many, in 1994, Jordan signed with the Birmingham Barons, a minor league baseball team. Michael's father had shared his love of baseball with his son. Growing up, baseball, not basketball, was Michael's first love. When he was younger, he thought he'd be a pro baseball player, but that changed to basketball after he grew taller. 
Michael committed himself to baseball and put the same intense effort on the field that he was known for on the basketball court. And the results were evident. At the start of his first spring training, his throwing arm was 20 on a scale of 20 to 80. But by August, it was 50. The 1994-95 baseball strike left Michael in a tough spot. His loyalty to his teammates meant he refused to be a strike breaker by playing as a replacement player and he decided to leave baseball altogether. Number six. In 1995, Michael returned to basketball, once again with the Chicago Bulls. Rejuvenated from his time in minor league baseball, Michael quickly led the Bulls to another set of consecutive championship winning seasons in 1996, 1997, and 1998, which made him a six-time NBA champion and NBA Finals MVP. Michael was named NBA Most Valuable Player a total of five times in 1988, 1991, 1992, 1996, and 1998. Jordan again retired in 1999. In 2000, Jordan became part owner and president of basketball operations for the Washington Wizards. Two years later, Michael resigned in order to get a better feel for talent by playing on the team with the players. In 2003, Michael retired for the third and final time as the Washington Wizards faced off against the 76ers in Philadelphia. He concluded his legendary basketball career to a standing ovation by the sold out crowd. Michael had a total of 32,292 points and a career average of 30.12, placing him number one on the NBA's all-time leaders list, a record that is still standing as of 2023. Number seven. Jordan made two Olympic appearances as a member of the U.S. Olympic basketball team. He won gold twice, once in 1984 at the Los Angeles Games, and then in 1992 as part of the historic Dream Team at the Barcelona Games. The Dream Team did not lose a single game and won each game by an average of 44 points. In 2009, Jordan was elected to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. In 2016, Jordan was recognized by the White House as one of the greatest athletes of all time when he was presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Michael's single-minded focus and dedication to improvement were the secrets to his success. His drive has been labeled as aggressive by some. Michael's greatest strengths are his zeal and the intensity of his desire for greatness, which shine in the way he played throughout his career. In honor of Michael's late father, the James R. Jordan Foundation was established to bring change and hope to those who need it most. In 2023, Jordan made a record donation of $10 million to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the largest donation from an individual in the organization's 43-year history. If you made it this far, hit the like button to let us know you want more content like this. Like and share with the ambitious in your life and check out the SDH Legend Library in the description below. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Learn from legends. Be legendary.